it's Sunday evening and just in the process of uh, doing a little bit of feeding and I've been using the teleporter with its new its newly painted rims and new tires uh, and yeah anyone who who's seen when uh, Torch's video well it was probably Friday morning when it got published but anyone who's seen it uh, will have seen that we we got the, the tires fitted onto the rims but uh, we hadn't the, the rims painted that only took place uh, on Friday then and uh, they were left then set to dry and they didn't get fit they uh, actually fitted onto the machine uh, until yesterday so which was Saturday so um, yeah I've used the used the machine now to to feed yesterday evening and now again this evening so uh, I've had a couple of feeds with it and been driving around a wee bit with it and yeah so far so good I have to say with the with the with the new tires um, a few things that I've noticed straight off is obviously I said the other day the machine was going to be a little bit taller off the ground and it is uh, you can when you go to get into the machine you can just feel the step is that maybe an inch inch and a half higher up than what it was when you're used to getting into a machine every day you can notice it that wee bit higher um, which which is fine it doesn't really matter we were never really that tight for space uh, overhead anyway we couldn't any of the any of the shed so uh, it was never an issue uh, that it, it had to be the same height as it was um, but uh, in using the machine now with these tires on I've noticed a couple of things one the machine is is more stable now when you've got a when you've got a load on the bucket a load on it uh, it definitely feels more stable it's more comfortable driving it around I had it up and down the lane a couple of times the lane has plenty of uh, dips in it and little bits of potholes and stuff like that and you can definitely feel that the machine is more comfortable now it it, it seems to uh, absorb those bumps uh, better than what the other tires did and the third thing that I noticed which I thought might uh, be the case was uh, the tires now um, they're leaving the steering a little bit lighter than what it was which is fantastic uh, it's actually quite a bit lighter um, now I know I had old tires on and they would have been they would have been uh, causing quite a bit of friction when you were turning the wheel anyway but I had three sets of, of the tractor style tires on before and uh, these tires are definitely lighter than what they were when they were new so yeah so far so good very happy with with how how they are performing um, but obviously we'll be keeping an eye on them in the coming in the coming months and we'll see see how we get on with them and um, looking forward to trying them out in the field see what the what the track what the traction is like and uh, the first times I use it out in the field I'll do some videos on that and we'll see how the just how they perform hey uh, also when we're putting up the silage with the machine we'll see uh, somebody sent me a message said they had trouble getting up the silage pit with them um, I can't see that being really the case because we could get up the silage pit with ball tires so I'd, I'd imagine that they should be able to climb the pit uh, in any case we have a set of jewels that goes on anyway so um, yeah we'll we'll see how, how it works on the pit as well and we'll, we'll keep an eye on it as we're going along so uh, it's part of a number of different bits of jobs that we have to do on the teleporter in the coming uh, in the coming weeks and maybe uh, coming months uh, we're going to do a bit of tidying up on it um, you can see the, the tank here well that's that's not dust that's just faded it's starting to go white so it should be John Deere green so we're going to we're going to paint it it should be the same color as this here now there is a bit of dust on the on the panel on the side the side panel of the boom um, but it should be a similar color to that so we're going to paint uh, there's a little step that goes on, we're going to paint the step um, and the diesel tank uh, and just generally a bit of tidying up on it. Uh, there's new new skins that go on the mud guards uh, over the years, they're on it from new these and over the years it's been caught a few times and uh, reversed into things and as as can happen. Um, so we're going to change change all the skins, put a new set of skins right around on it. And, uh, yeah, just generalise a bit of painting here and there uh, and tidying up where it needs it um, because it is a good machine and with the way farming is at the minute it's hard to justify spending a whole lot of money on machinery uh, so spending a few thousand on tidying something up maybe might be might be more in line uh, than than uh, than going the other way and and changing machines so yeah just something that has to be done there's also a little 
first real mechanical issue that we've had in we have this machine now uh, almost 13 years and the first little mechanical issue showed its face in the last few weeks uh, probably within the last month or so now it hasn't stopped us using it but every now and again there's a light comes on and it's thrown up that it should be a sensor on the machine sensor on the engine uh, now the sensor we've changed it it's it's working fine uh, it's to do with temperature the machine isn't overheating um, and it's shown now that it's looking like it's a wire fall a wiring fall so we're gonna have to follow the wires uh, back to the to in the loom and see see what's wrong there's there's obviously uh, maybe a break in a, in a wire or something like that so we have looked a little bit uh, but we have to spend a bit more time we'll get that sorted as well before before the the silage is done um, but overall it's been a very good machine has give very little trouble there's about 7,000 hours on it um, and like all we've ever had to do is replace hoses on it um, there was a, a seal went on one of the rams inside the boom one time so we had to uh, uh, dismantle the, the ram and fix the seal and uh, what else there was a tensioner also on the fan belt started squeaking at one stage and we had to sort that out too so yeah uh, so that's really it. Um, all those jobs will have to be done on us now before the silage is is is, uh, is cut around the end of May or early June. Uh, there's also a job to be done on the bucket here. You can see the blade is quite war. Uh, there's quite a bit of wear on it. Uh, it was done before once that blade. Uh, I'd say it's about oh could be maybe about three or four years ago we put a new blade on it. And it's just getting to the point now where it's down enough that it needs it again. So uh, if you don't replace it, it'll start to wear then the actual side, uh, the side of the bucket. So uh, yeah, it's just time to get that done now as well. So a few different wee bits of maintenance jobs it needs done, um, and we get them done over the coming, the coming weeks. Uh, we had a couple of new arrivals. Uh, you can't really see them here at the minute. They're down the bottom of the field, and I don't think. No, you're supposed to be able to zoom on this camera, but it's not happening at the minute. Uh, no, you can't see them down there. There's two cows we had calved over the last few days. Uh, two lovely calves, uh, everything fine. And we also had an Irish draft male that's out there with them as well. Uh, she foaled this morning, so uh, I'll see. I'll maybe try and get a, a bit of footage of that tomorrow and put a little video up of the mare and foal. So, yeah, it's all all happening again on the on the calving front. Hopefully, hopefully now the they keep going once they've started calving and we get them, get them finished so anyway that's it yeah gonna go finish off the feeding as always thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one